Hello, this is Friar Tim, wishing you a happy beginning of the Lenten season. I want to share this little reflection with you for Lent as we begin this particular time in the life of the church, which has deep meaning for many Christians and many people, and a deep opportunity for each one of us to recommit ourselves a little bit more to our faith and to our practice. We've chosen as our Lenten theme for this year, go out a little bit deeper. And it comes from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 5, verse 4, which we heard about a month back in the Sunday liturgy. And after a whole long, it comes from a section in the Gospel where after a whole long period of Jesus' disciples fishing fruitlessly, Jesus tells them to cast their nets again. And when they demur, Jesus asks them to go out a little bit deeper and see what happens. And going out a little bit deeper is precisely one of the ways in which we express our appreciation and our openness to become Jesus's disciples. When Jesus invites us to follow him, we really don't know where and what that journey is going to be like. It is really the Lenten call to deepen that level of discipleship, to deepen that commitment to the Lord Jesus Christ, to make that commitment to the Lord Jesus Christ ever more transparent so that the presence of Jesus Christ can be ever more transparent in our world today. We've also come up with a little bit of an acronym to describe what it's like for us to be disciples in the world today and various ways in which we can deepen that discipleship through one way or another. The acronym that we've come up with is called PATHS, P-A-T-H-S. The P stands for prayer and a personal relationship with Christ. For some of us, deepening our life of prayer is the entry point, is the way in which we make our commitment to Christ all the more evident. While we all need to pray and we all need to develop lives of prayer, some of us are called more particularly to a kind of a contemplative deepening of prayer. A an attitude of continual openness to growth. If we're complacent in our life, if we think we know everything, if we think we've arrived, if we think everything has been solved for us and we need to just coast to the end, a pathway for deepening our relationship with Christ is really just being openness, being open to changing situations, changing patterns, or to quote the Second Vatican Council, to be able to read the signs of the times and to respond to them with a great level of openness. T, take a deeper part in community. We're all painfully aware of the individual nature of American society and how that has really impacted many of us one way to counteract this is to take a deeper part in community, whether it be Orange County Justice United in community building in our local area, whether it be the Newman community and getting more involved in our church and parish life, or whether it be more deep involvement with the civic community around you or just maintaining a good contact of friends and family. When we connect horizontally with other people, that horizontal connection can serve to deepen our relationship with Jesus Christ. Because each of these ways, whether we're open, whether we're prayerful, whether we're deeply involved in community, are going to be ways in which Christ is going to invite us, come on out a little bit deeper. Try things just a little bit deeper. H, heartfelt generosity. 
an openness to being generous, to share what we have, time, talent, treasure, particularly to not, to particularly be aware of our own tendency to consume and to hoard and to store up and be more available towards a generosity and an openness of hands and an openness of spirit. And finally, S, service and solidarity. Reaching out to the littlest and the least, having a compassionate heart that responds to the sufferings, the needs, the hurts, and the cries of the poor for justice in our world. Each of these are different ways in which God calls us to grow a little bit deeper in our faith, a little bit deeper in our commitment to him, and a little bit deeper in our discipleship and the way in which we live. During Lent, Newman's main spiritual focus will be to celebrate evening prayer each of the Tuesdays of Lent at 7 p.m. Evening prayer consists of the singing of three psalms and a few other prayers, and it will be accompanied by a reflection on one of these paths. Prayer, attitude of openness, take a deeper part in community, heartfelt generosity, service and solidarity. We invite you, or I personally invite you, to come and be a part of these Tuesday evening sung evening prayers at 7 p.m. each Tuesday evening as a particular way to deepen our life of devotion. I call your attention to some of the things that will be happening later on in Lent. Newman's communal penance service for the, for the Piedmont Deanery of the Diocese of Raleigh will take place on Thursday, April 7th at 7 p.m. Extra confessors will be available. In addition, we'll be having our regular confession times, Wednesday, 5 to 6 p.m. and Saturday, 4 to 5 p.m. I also call your attention to Saturday, April 9th, which will be a trunk to truck collection for the Durham Food Pantry, as well as a Newman Service Day, ways to both exercise your almsgiving and your Lenten charity and your commitment to serve others. Thank you very much. God bless you and take care.